ஹலோ எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் டு த சிக்ஸ்த் வீடியோ இன் திஸ் ஐம் ஜஸ்ட் கோயிங் டு கண்டினியூ வித் மை டாஸ்க் ஃபைவ் இஃப் பாசிபிள் வி வில் ஆல்சோ டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் டாஸ்க் சிக்ஸ் திஸ் டு டெஸ்ட் த சிம்பிள் ஷிஃப்ட் ரிஜிஸ்டர் அகெயின் ஷிஃப்ட் ரிஜிஸ்டர் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் யூனோ டிஜிட்டல் சர்க்யூட் இன் விச் யூ ஃபீட் அ வேல்யூ ஃப்ரம் ஒன் அண்ட் அண்ட் கிவ் அ கிளாக் பல்ஸ் and every clock pulse the value gets shifted okay um again you need to refer to the data sheets and all to get to know about the shift register but let me introduce straight away to the component uh, let me create a new design and then just choose the device we have i believe 74 ls 164 is a shift register yeah we have iec symbol is is okay uh, it's only just symbol it doesn't matter so shift register and i'm just going to place it okay and we need to refer to the data sheet so let me refer the data sheet 74 ls 164 data sheet you can see this is a function table the clear pin if it is low uh, no matter what are the clock and a and b values you can't see the shifting operation okay so let me zoom little bit if clear pin is high if the clock is low and again of in spite of the inputs you can see these values how it get retained and here the clocking is going on with the clock pulse is on every clock pulse and when you feed a and b as a high and high input will be given and this value get shifted and so on okay and again on every clock pulse again it's a lower high this will happen so let us try here that we are just back to the simulation window here this is my reset pin as per the data sheet the reset pin must be connected to high or the clear pin must be high and the clock we have to provide and a and b if you want to shift high both must be high if you want to shift low any one of the pin must be low so what i will do is first reset pin i am tying up to high that means for the normal operation and we are placing a clock from the generators pulse we are placing a clock and we are also changing the initial low voltage as a zero and the pulsed high voltage as a five and the frequency i am setting as a 1 for comfortable reading okay of the signal then what i do i just try to feed a clock over here and let me try to feed first you know 1 so this how i can connect it if i want to feed high i have to connect both of them to a high that means initially you will see all of them here as a ground and high signal will be fed for every clock pulse okay just let us try to simulate this you can see whatever is the value on this it is just feeding into the lsb and whatever is in this state it is shifting here now if you want to visually see this how it is happening as i mentioned in our previous video you can have one uh, switch 
and single pull double throw switch say ok and just rotate the switch and place it over here that means I am just going to choose high or low when the simulation is running ok so I will connect one is to low and another one I will connect to high ok so what you will observe now initially we connected to high so you will find the high is getting shifted so both are high and as per data sheet if any one pin is low and you will get a low here so I am just pushing here as a low and you can see the low is here for every clock signal so the low is getting shifted so you can see how this works this is called shift register ok uh, this can be used in a variety of applications like uh, you know um, a musical fountain or even some moving panel displays and all uh, where you want to shift the signal and put some value ok so that can be done ok uh, obviously we can't control the data which we are shifting manually uh, we need to give this data through a, a computer probably a microcontroller and then the clocking also can be controlled so you can have a series of uh, you know shift registers and then try to feed the data what you want to you know display to the user or how this fountain is uh, or the how the walls you want to make it on or off all this can be controlled by using a shift register now let us see how to export these circuits into uh, a circuit into a you know bitmap or pdf file just see file if you uh, have already a standard uh, printer installed like uh, pdf24 or things like that like print and you can see pdf24 you can install and then you can see which uh, you know orientation you want you can choose and then you can see demo let's say save or oh, it's a PRN file is not required here and say ok I'm sorry maybe export graphics export PDF file yeah the file name here I say now demo dot pdf save current sheet and say ok yeah you can see the circuit here in a pdf file ok so this can be you know used for uh, you know your reporting and all you can take a screenshot from here and then you can put it in your report this is one example I will also show the another one which we have done like desktop I will just save this as my demo file and let me open like demo 2 so we don't need maybe this let us say this is your circuit diagram though it's not that structured diagram I'll say now export as a PDF file and let me replace the file you can see this is a circuit diagram ok so this can be used for your uh, presentation or maybe circuit diagram or things like that ok ok Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you understand in this session like uh, how to construct some uh, you know interactive circuits using uh, digital uh, gates like uh, shift register 
and also how to export your uh, work into a PDF file and it's also possible to export as a bitmap as images also and then how to ha you know use your uh, uh, PDF files for your you know reporting purpose also you learn from this video hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching